On the 16th of August 1940, amidst the height of the Battle of Britain, a large presence of German aircraft heading for Portsmouth are detected by the chain home radar system. At 12.30 hours, a scramble order is given to 249 Squadron RAF, who take off from Boscombe Down, led by Squadron Leader John Grandy. Leading Red Section is Flight Lieutenant James Nicholson in Hurricane GNA, who will not only experience the squadron's baptism of fire on this day, but will also earn Britain's highest military decoration for valour, the Victoria Cross. While climbing to patrol the Portsmouth and Southampton areas at 15,000 feet, or about 4,600 meters, Nicholson spots a trio of Ju-88 medium bombers. Breaking away from the rest of the squadron, Red Section is sent to investigate and attack the bombers. Nicholson is joined by Pilot Officer Martin King in Hurricane GNF, borrowed from the future author, Pilot Officer Tom Neal. King is now believed to have been the youngest Battle of Britain pilot at just 18 years old. Squadron leader Eric King also flies with Red Section as a supernumerary officer to gain combat experience. The British pilots climb to the east of Southampton where they see the three Ju-88s approaching Southampton from Gosport. A squadron of Spitfires is also vectored to attack the bombers. The bombers are shot down before Nicholson can engage them. As Nicholson leads Red Section back to the rest of 249 Squadron, an unknown number of enemy aircraft prepare to attack. Previously thought to have been BF-110s, recent research has found that 6th Staffel of JG-53, led by 12 Victory Ace Oberleutnant Heinz Brettnutz, attacked a trio of Hurricanes on this day, claiming his 13th and 14th victories, almost certainly Nicholson and Red Section. Unaware of the incoming danger, Nicholson's section fly in a rigid VIC formation, climbing to 18,000 feet or about 5,500 meters. At 12.55 hours, exploiting the blind spot of the hurricanes, Brett Nutz fires on Red Section just north of Southampton. 
Pilot Officer King's aircraft is set alight and breaks away. Squadron Leader King's aircraft is also hit and breaks into a spin. Nicholson is hit by at least four cannon shells, with one of them setting the Hurricane's gravity petrol tank on fire. Having been wounded in his left eye, right leg and left foot, he dives to escape and prepares to bail out. Nicholson recalls, I was just thinking about jumping out when suddenly a Messerschmitt 110 whizzed underneath me and got right in my gun sight. In a retaliatory rage, he scores some hits on the passing aircraft. I gave him a parting burst and as he disappeared I started thinking about saving myself. Severely burned and seeing his left hand peeling off in the flames, Nicholson exits his aircraft. Despite no BF-110s being in the area on this day, Nicholson is credited with the victory. As he floats to Earth, Nicholson is shot at and hit in the buttocks by members of the Home Guard. When admitted to hospital, Nicholson is given 24 hours to live but survives. Pilot Officer King escapes his aircraft successfully. However, he is fatally injured when his canopy collapses, either caused by enemy fire or by an anti-aircraft battery. Squadron Leader King manages to escape any further damage and returns to Boscombe Down. Nicholson will be awarded the Victoria Cross on the 15th of November 1940 for displaying exceptional gallantry and disregard for the safety of his own life in the face of the enemy. This is the sole Victoria Cross awarded to a fighter pilot during the Battle of Britain.